setting up your VS Code to use Elixir, Phoenix, and Live View. So one of the most frequently questioned that I receive is related to my setup to code using Elixir. So first of all, I'm gonna guide you through the article that I wrote in the past. A uh, couple of things changed. After this tutorial, probably your local machine will be the same here. Uh, and I'm gonna give you all the tools that I've been using for a long time. So first of all, I install the ZSH, install curl, pure code, I like that a lot. And especially on my ZSH to have something like this. After that, of course, you're gonna need to use the Elixir and Phoenix to build your projects and Git. So on this uh, article, probably you're gonna see this article. I'm gonna give you as well the art, uh, the files that I've been using my uh, ZSH config too. So as you can see, I installed the Docker too. And when I'm using Docker, I've been using a couple images such as Redis, Mongo, Kafka sometimes, but 99% Postgres. And what I do is just create a network. And after creating the network, I create my Docker image. Uh, also, a couple of things that I've been using uh, to deploy my apps are Gigalixer and Fly.io. But for me, it's one of the best tools to use HTTP uh, is the Insomnia. Uh, the, the Beaver uh, to handle with the database and uh, sometimes what do we need? For example, sometimes I like to uh, use the Kubernetes with Docker too. So when I come over here to my images and containers, what you can see what we can do here is sometimes when you need to use the Kubernetes is just to enable the Kubernetes when you have the desktop. Things that's going to be very useful for you is the K9S sometimes to manage your cluster. The kubectx, to, it's a good tool to change the cluster easily sometimes when you need to handle with uh, a lot of clusters using Kubernetes. Kubernetes Cli 2, I like, but most of my time I like using K9S. Helm to handle with uh, Kubernetes application and Conductor, uh, it's a UI to handle with uh, the Kafka. Cloud SDKs, it depends. So, what I'm saying here, all of them are optionals. So, it's up to you if you are going to use uh, the t this kind of tools, but you can install only clicking on the link and everything's going to be fine. Uh, VS Code, which is one of the most things that people have been asking me. And here I listed a couple plugins that I've been using for a long time. And I'm going to share my VS Code too, but I'm going to share a couple of tools because the article and I'm going to share my VS Code configuration, the settings.json. And my my configuration to use the ZSH2 and the plugins that I'm that I'm using uh, are listed here. So about my um, VS Code, this is my configurations to use the Emit. Well, how why I always start like using Emit? For example, I want to create a title, and this title we have the span. And then we're going to have an H1 where the ID is pumpkin and the text will be hello world. After that, the image will be very useful. And of course, we can use that with the live view. Uh, for me, it's one of the most fantastic thing. Uh, but let's talk about the plugins. So plugins that I've been using that I use a lot is Brick Pairs, Colorized, Color Highlight, CSS Modules. Ignore the Java stuff here. Uh, let me focus on the more, most crucial things. Copilot sometimes if you need. Uh, but I think the most important are 
um, the material icons. I like using the Omni team here. Phoenix framework, it's good. Both CSS to uh, Tailwind. Maybe you're not going to use that because I'm using um, uh, WSL here and uh, Linux inside Windows. Uh, bricked pairs, color, colorized, color highlight. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not using Docker, but important to install the Elixir LS and yes, a link. Fear code to Git graph. I use that a lot. And I think that's it. So mostly here, I, I, I install in another local machine. And the TOIN CSS IntelliSense. Uh, I think that's all. This is the most crucial here. I'm going to give you this exactly settings.json for you to use. So just copy and paste. And also, uh, one of the things that I'm going to share with you too is this kind of config uh, because I'm going to have all my alias to use with Elixir too. Hope you enjoy and bye-bye.